Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about curation tools or knowledge management tools for teachers. Especially at the beginning of your career as a teacher, it can be overwhelming to try to keep track of all of the great tools and teaching methods that we are introduced to in our class time or that we just bump into and as we research and work with other teachers. And keeping track of them so that we can access them or find them when we need them a month from now, a year from now, uh, can be very helpful. So one type of tool that can be helpful in keeping track of all these resources are digital note takers or organizers. And these are some of the most popular organizers used by teachers and other people. Uh, first one is Google Keep. It's free to use. It's a Google product, so you need to keep that in mind, but it may be what your school district uses. Obsidian is a freemium application that charges for uh, synchronizing between devices. Evernote's another freemium. Uh, the basic version can do pretty much everything, and after you have a certain amount of content into it, you have to pay a little bit for storage. And then Microsoft OneNote comes with the Office Suite and is free for uh, UVic students, faculty, and staff through the UVic site license. Actually, I should go back to that and say another option is just to have a pen and paper notebook and keep track of it that way, but some people do like to use digital tools. I'm going to be focusing on digital tools today. So this is what Google Keep looks like. Um, I've used Evernote, Microsoft OneNote, and Google Keep, but uh, over the past few years I've basically just used Google Keep because it was free, it was cross-platform, it worked well on my Mac, my Windows computer, my Android Android phone to my iPad. That said, all of these applications are now cross-platform. Cross and if you'd like to use a tool for curating resources, any of these would, be, uh, would work perfectly fine. But I'm going to demonstrate Google Keep to you. The way that you'd organize uh, in, the diff in the other programs might be a little bit different, but the, they're all basically the same in terms of uh, tagging content that you put in so that you can easily filter it and find it when you, when you need it. Just before I get into a hands-on demonstration, these are some of the basic steps in content curation. And this from this is from Teacher Challenge uh, from edu, edublogs.org. First thing would be to read it or find about the either the tool or the uh, pedagogy. Uh, after you've read it, you'd probably figure out what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. If you want to keep it, you'd add it to your tool. You'd categorize it based on maybe subject area or pedagogy or um, maybe administrative function. And once you've done that, you should be able to fairly quickly find it down the road when you need it. Some people like to share what they've uh, found. I typically only share things that I've used for a little bit. I'm, I'm confident that it's working well, but other people like to share as they find things, which is perfectly fine as well. So let's go over to Google Keep. This is what my Google Keep looks like. We've got different categories over here that are uh, basically uh, created using hashtags, and I'll show you how to do that. So for example, we've got an article here on uh, the advantages of heterogeneous student groups in math, and uh, let's say I really like this article. I've installed a plugin in my web browser for Google Keep, so I can just click here, and I can, oh, sorry. Okay, I'm signed in, and if I want to tag it, I can click on this Add Label, and I'm going to uh, tag it with uh, Admin, and I'm going to add a math tag, but I don't have it here. So I'll just close it, and then I'll go back to Google Keep and scroll down. And here is my note. I'll click on it here, and I want to add uh, math. So I'll just type in hashtag math, sorry, math, and then create math as a category. And then I'll close it. And as you can see over here, it's created a math label that wasn't there before. So I click on that. I've only got one article tagged with math. If I click on language arts, I've got three things tagged with math, just as an example. So let's go to one more here. This is obviously a tool, Kahoot. I'm going to click on 
there. Um, I could put notes about what I like about it if I wanted to. I'm not going to bother doing that right now, but I am going to label it. And I'm going to go active learning and evaluation. Those are the categories that I want to put it in. And I'll close, click there. I'll go back to Google Keep and I'll click on evaluation. And there's Kahoot now. So I can see all the things. I've got fresh grades in Kahoot in my evaluation folder. I've got for language arts, I've got these, although I was just doing this for testing purposes. At Min, I've got uh, that article as well as fresh grades. So it's a way to quickly and easily capture information about, uh, about different tools or articles or pedagogies, put them in a place, categorize them so I can easily find things later. So I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, please let me know, but uh, I'll talk to you later.